NASA's Voyager 1 probe, the most distant man-made object in the universe. For over four decades, Voyager 1 has been a lone wanderer in the vast cold expanse beyond our solar system, dutifully transmitting signals back to Earth from unimaginable distances. Launched in 1977, it became the farthest man-made object from our planet, crossing the boundaries of our solar neighborhood and venturing into interstellar space in 2012. Its journey has been one of silent perseverance and monumental discovery, but recently something changed. A signal came through, one that wasn't supposed to. Voyager 1 turned back, and what it revealed has sent shockwaves through the scientific community. What was once dismissed as speculation or even fiction now has substance. What we feared, it turns out, may not just be a fear after all. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The most unsettling part wasn't that Voyager 1 turned back, it was that it had a reason to. Its trajectory up until now was a straight path forward, governed by the momentum it gathered decades ago and the gravitational slingshot provided by planets long left behind. It had no propulsion system to alter course, no mechanism to turn in any traditional sense, but the data showed a clear deviation, a subtle yet unmistakable shift in its orientation. Instruments that had long scanned the stars ahead were now directed at a slightly different angle. Its antenna, always trained to beam its signal narrowly back toward Earth, had realigned itself, marginally, yet measurably. And within that realignment was a message not in words, but in patterns, pulses, and raw, unfiltered data. The signal brought with it an eerie realization. Something had triggered Voyager 1 to change course. What lies beyond the heliopause, that turbulent edge where the solar wind gives way to the interstellar medium, has long been a source of curiosity and debate. Now that border has offered more than resistance or background noise. It has responded. The high-energy particles that Voyager 1's instruments recorded weren't just remnants of cosmic rays or the static hiss of deep space. They formed a repeating sequence, a rhythm, and within that rhythm, scientists detected anomalies, fluctuations that could not be explained by known astrophysical phenomena. Energies spiked far beyond baseline levels, and magnetic field readings bent into strange, irregular patterns. The cosmos, usually indifferent, had suddenly grown agitated. The implications of this disturbance stretch far beyond the machinery of a distant probe. Voyager 1, drifting at nearly 150 astronomical units from the Sun, had passed into a region where human instruments had never operated. The expectation was cold silence, the passive hum of deep space. Instead, it encountered turbulence. The plasma density, once thought to decline steadily into the void, began to rise again. A wall, perhaps, or worse, a boundary of unknown origin. Voyager 1's instruments were limited in their capacity, yet even with aged sensors they revealed something astonishing. The interstellar medium wasn't as uniform as believed. It wasn't empty either. It was reactive. And that's where the fear takes root. For years, some theoretical astrophysicists and speculative thinkers have warned that our understanding of the universe may be incomplete in a dangerous way. That space beyond our solar system might not be as passive as we assumed, that certain regions could harbor zones of instability or intelligence. Until now, these warnings were largely ignored, dismissed as paranoia. But Voyager's sudden shift, its turning back, signals a mechanical instinct, a built-in reaction to conditions deemed too extreme or too foreign. The spacecraft was not programmed to retreat. It was not designed to respond autonomously in such a way. Yet here it was, rotating ever so slightly, redirecting its antenna toward Earth with renewed urgency, as if trying to scream across the void. Analyzing the incoming data became a top priority. Teams at NASA's Deep Space Network pored over the telemetry, attempting to decipher the pulse sequences that Voyager was transmitting. What they found deepened the unease. In place of the usual trickle of cosmic data, temperature readings, magnetic field values, radiation levels, there was a sequence of electromagnetic pulses interspersed with long gaps of silence. The pulses weren't natural. They mirrored patterns found in code, binary rhythms too structured to be random. And most haunting of all, those pulses repeated on a perfect cycle, even accounting for the distance Voyager's signal had to travel. It was as if something had inserted itself into the data stream. Not a malfunction, not background noise, something intentional. This was never part of the Voyager mission profile. 
The spacecraft was designed to observe, not interact, and yet the latest transmissions pointed to an interaction. Something out there had made its presence known. More unsettling still, the moment Voyager 1 entered this region of increased turbulence and inexplicable data irregularities, its power systems experienced fluctuations. Capacitors that had functioned flawlessly for over 40 years began to surge. The low wattage power levels shifted erratically, sometimes spiking into ranges beyond their design capacity. It was as though the very nature of energy, or how Voyager processed it, had changed. Physicists proposed multiple theories, none of them reassuring. One posited a localized distortion in the fabric of space-time, a ripple perhaps created by an unknown force or object, possibly a dark matter anomaly. Another theory suggested a kind of cosmic signal relay, a region of space that behaves like a lens or transmitter, not of light, but of information. And then there was the most controversial idea of all, that Voyager 1 had brushed against the influence of a structured intelligence. An intelligence not bound to planetary surfaces or biological form, but one that exists within the very fields and forces of space itself. This possibility, that the signal Voyager 1 detected was not simply a consequence of the interstellar medium, but a product of intention, set off internal debates among the world's top scientific institutions. Most remained silent to the public. The data, after all, was ambiguous. But silence didn't erase the growing consensus, that we had been observed, and perhaps even acknowledged. Voyager had reached far, and something had reached back. The strange electromagnetic pulses carried other oddities as well. Their frequency did not match known natural sources like pulsars or quasars. Instead, their structure seemed to evolve slightly over time, adapting. This adaptability gave rise to another fear, that the pulses weren't just a message but a form of probing, a cosmic scan, as if whatever generated them was not only sending information but also receiving feedback from Voyager's reactions a two-way link forming slowly and subtly, a handshake across the stars, one that we never expected and for which we were not prepared. What had always been considered the quiet zone of space, the interstellar vacuum, was now echoing with hints of activity. Some researchers noted changes in background cosmic noise near Voyager's position, shifts that couldn't be tied to the probe itself. The hydrogen wall, a theorized region at the boundary of the heliosphere, may not be a wall at all, but a membrane a gate, and Voyager had knocked. Whether something answered remains unknown. What is certain is that Voyager 1, long thought to be a passive drifter, had behaved in a way no one anticipated. The minor course deviation, the sudden burst of abnormal telemetry, the repetition of coded pulses, each event alone might be dismissed. Together, they formed a chilling pattern. Perhaps what disturbed experts most was the psychological weight of these developments. Voyager 1 has always been a symbol of human reach, of curiosity without limit. But curiosity, as the old warning goes, can draw attention. The timing of this signal could not have been worse, or more poignant. Earth stands on the edge of its own technological and environmental cliffs. To discover that we might not be alone, and that we might be perceived, introduces a tension hard to quantify. For decades, the greatest fear was that the universe would remain silent forever. Now, a greater fear takes its place, that the silence has been broken. More data continues to flow in, albeit erratically. Voyager's ancient systems are taxed to their limit, yet still they persist. Each transmission brings a mixture of awe and dread. Patterns continue, new energy signatures appear, then vanish. The magnetic fields fluctuate without cause. The noise of space grows stranger, more textured. The void, once thought to be impersonal, now seems almost reactive, like a medium in which something else moves. Something that noticed a brief flicker of electricity from a pale blue planet and decided to peer back. Voyager 1, for all its endurance, is still a frail ambassador. Its materials, weakened by cosmic radiation and time, cannot last forever. But it has delivered a final message of profound implication, that the universe is watching that beyond the boundary of light and gravity lies not just emptiness, but awareness, and that we, the Watchers, have become the Watched. The next steps remain uncertain. Voyager's systems will inevitably fail, its voice fading into static. But before that happens, scientists around the globe are locked in a race against time to decipher the full extent of what was sent back. 
every bit of data is being poured through AI systems, pattern recognition algorithms, and human intuition. The question is no longer whether Voyager saw something unusual. The question now is what it saw. And more chillingly, what saw it? In the cold reaches where stars are just pinpricks and darkness dominates, one tiny probe turned back for the first time. Not because it was told to, not because it malfunctioned, but because something stirred in the deep. Something that changed the trajectory of not just a machine, but of human understanding itself. Voyager 1's journey has always been about pushing the limits of exploration. Now it has pushed us into a realm of questions that may never be fully answered. What lies beyond may not be danger in the traditional sense, but rather the destabilizing revelation that we are not the sole authors of our cosmic story, that something else has written a few lines of its own and has just begun to respond. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on Voyager 1 turning back? What do you expect happened? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.